Welcome, class, to Slacker's Calculus. I'm your teacher, Mr. Campfire. Right now, we're going to do a little review of what you should have learned, but probably slept through last year during pre-calculus. I'm going to go over some of the concepts from nine of last year's chapters, and then present one problem from each. Are you ready? Okay, then. Chapter one, functions. A function is a relationship between variables when an independent variable, x, is input into an equation or set of rules that gives exactly one output value, y. An inverse function is one function's opposite, which can be found by reflecting the function over the basic linear function, also called the identity function, y equals x. Any questions? Okay, here's the question. The amount of homework that a slacker turns in during the first four days of school is given by the equation y equals x minus 3 over 2x minus 9. Where x equals 0 is the first day. If he becomes a completely inverse good student, what would be the equation for the homework this good student turns in? Rounding the whole numbers, how many pieces of homework does the good student turn in on the third day than does the slacker? Now, who knows how to work this problem? Hey, sorry I'm late. What are you doing here, Neil? You shouldn't be in slacker's calculus. Nah, teach, I'm totally slacker. I know the answer. How do you know the answer? You just walked in here. You didn't hear the question, and for heaven's sakes, Neil, you're not even in the same room. So what? You take the equation and you inverse it by graphing or by switching the x's and y's. The new equation is y equals 9x minus 3 over 2x minus 1. And when you graph those two equations, it's easy to see that when x equals 2, the good student turns in five more pieces of homework than the slacker. Uh, well, yes. Good job. I guess we're on to chapter 2. Polynomial and rational functions. Examples of polynomial functions are the linear function, f of x equals ax plus b, the constant function, f of x equals c, and the squared function, f of x equals x squared. Squaring is part of the quadratic function, f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. x squared is to the second degree. Functions can be made with x to any degree. The degree is also the maximum amount of zeros in the function. Even degrees have the same end behavior, meaning the ends of the graph head in the same direction. Odd degrees have ends with opposite end behavior. Now the question. This equation shows the brain activity of a slacker during the first 10 hours of a day from x equals negative 5 to x equals 5. Simplify the equation and explain why his brain doesn't work during the 7th and 8th hours. Does anyone know the answer? Mr. Jarvis. How do you think you would answer this question? Uh, yeah. You'd simplify it. How would you do that? Um, yeah. You'd, um, factor it. Yeah. Correct! <laughs> when you factor it, it becomes this. Uh. Now, can anyone tell me why the slacker's brain doesn't work at the 7th or 8th hours? Ooh, ooh, the holes are at x minus 2 and x minus 3. You'll speak when I call on you! <clears throat> chapter 3, Exponential and Logarithm Functions. This chapter explains the two non-algebraic functions, the exponential and the logarithmic. The exponential function f with base a is denoted by f of x equals a of x and has a graph looking like the logarithmic function with base a is log base a of x. A moment. The natural log function is Logarithms have product, quotient, and power property. Questions? I didn't think so. Listen. 
The number of brain cells in thousands of a slacker can be modeled by the equation y equals negative natural log 3x minus 2 plus 10. If at the beginning of attempting calculus, the slacker ate an apple, the apple raises his brain cells at a rate of y equals log of 15x. How many total brain cells does the slacker have after seven hours? This is a simple one. Go ahead and plug the two equations into your calculators. In the table, you'll see that when x equals 7, the y of the first equation equals 7.056, and the y of the apple equation equals 2.021. Add those together, and you get Tobias? Easy. 9.077 brain cells. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Lenny? 9,077 brain cells, Mr. Campfire. Oh, Dubra. Oh, oh. Very good, thank you. You just brightened my day so much. Well, let's not stop now. On to chapter four, trigonometry.